Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Monica. I appreciate you all being here, first of all. Um, I wanted to actually do a part two of my craft room essentials because there are obviously other things that I do use in my craft room. It's just not on a regular basis like the other things that I showed you in part one. So um, I went through my craft room and actually there are quite a few things that I use, but it's just maybe once in a while, maybe every other week or whatever the case is, right? So I'm going to turn the camera around and show you my additional craft room essentials that I do have. And hopefully it'll kind of give you an idea of if it's something that you're looking into getting into, it might be something ideal for you to try out to get started. So let's get started. Okay, my next craft room essential, obviously, this is a hat press. Um... I don't use that as often as I do my other essentials, but I do use it for whenever I get a random order for a cap. So that is another craft room essential that you definitely would need if you are making caps and things of that nature. You definitely want a cap press. Of course, my next craft room essential is my little Cricut Joy. I do use this uh, quite often and it's usually on smaller projects if I'm just doing a decal or just something small. I don't really use this for anything else unless it's a very small project. So definitely an essential or if you're wanting to start out with a vinyl cutter and you don't want to go big and you just want to start out with making decals, this is the perfect size for you. I mean, if you see the size of my hand, it's not... It's a it's a nice little cutter to start if you're not necessarily for t-shirts and such, but if you're wanting to start out, get familiar with things like that, uh, this would probably be a good way to start with. So that is my next craft room essential. My next craft room essential is my Cricut Mini Press. Now I got this one on sale, of course, as I usually do. Uh, for $99 and it's fairly small but it's nice for smaller projects uh, just like the Cricut Joy. Um, this I only use uh, if I'm doing a small project and I don't want to pull out my big uh, heat press. I usually use this, take it out to my dining table sometimes uh, or here, it just depends. But this is something good also if you want to start out and you don't want to invest in something so expensive. This could be a way to go. Okay, my next craft room essential is this rotary blade cutter. Now this I use it mostly for my cardstock and paper, but I do also use it to cut my vinyl or my heat transfer vinyl on bigger projects. It's just easier cutting it so I can get a nice straight line. So definitely an essential. If you work with any of those products, it I've used it almost every single day. So definitely, I cannot believe I almost forgot about this in my first video, but Definitely an essential. If you're wanting something that's quick and a nice clean line, this is your way to go. My next craft room essential is this tumbler turner. Of course, I use these when I am making any of my tumblers that are turning with resin. So if that is something that you're into or thinking about getting into, you definitely want a tumbler turner because you can't just place it on anything and assume it's going to come out perfectly. You definitely need this so it can turn the resin evenly all around for several hours so you can get a, a smooth finish throughout. So that is my next craft room essential. All right, definitely another craft room essential for me is my little jewelry making kit, so to speak. You have all your little tools, of course, for your jewelry making and then your bezels if you're making necklaces and the little backs for the earrings I have all my stuff for jewelry in this little container um, and it's great to just keep everything organized if I want to work on jewelry I just pull this out put it on my desk and I will be ready to go my next craft room essential is my scotch brand laminator I use this quite a bit to make bookmarkers, but also um, it just depends. Um, I laminate a lot of things with this. Um, I've used it for a couple of other things that I've tested out, but didn't work out so great. But if you're into paper crafting and 
making book markers and things of that sort, this is definitely an essential to have on hand along with the thermal pouches. Another craft room essential for sure. All right, so there you have it, guys. My second part to my craft room essentials. Um, I know that I missed some things in my first video. That's because it's things that I don't utilize on a regular basis, like in my first video. These are things that are secondary that I use from time to time, but I still use. Um, it, it could be any number of things. If you're focusing on one specific craft, then some things don't apply to you, right? Um, other things may apply to you if you just wanted to do t-shirts, right? You would need your cutter, you would need a heat press. But you can start like small, like with the Cricut Joy and maybe the Cricut Easy Press and start with that. Um, if you want to go bigger, then you want to go with the Cricut Explore Air or uh, the Cricut Maker um, and then a bigger heat press, right? The heat press I have is a 15 by 15. My Cricut Easy Press is a 9 by 9. So um, it just depends on the project I'm working on. As far as my jewelry making kit, I just kind of found that container and um, put the tools in there and all the things that I need to make my pendants or my earrings. Everything is in one spot. Um, and I could just carry that with me if I feel like going to my dining room or to my living room to watch TV and work on my jewelry. I could do that. It's all in one spot. So um, I hope that helps you guys. Um, I know there's a lot of things in here that I can probably mention as well, but these are like the main essentials that you need to work a particular product that you're doing, right? So, um, you know, I got scissors and my other cutters and my, you know, vinyl pickers i mean there's so many things right but those are like my main essentials that i reach for on a regular basis these in, in this video are not on a regular basis but every once in a while but i still utilize right so um i hope this helped you out i hope you like this video um if you found it beneficial or of any value to you i would really appreciate a like and if it's something you feel like you want to continue following me here on youtube please hit that subscribe button. It would really help me out on this channel as I'm starting my YouTube journey. I appreciate every single one of you who watches until the very end. It means a lot. It helps me out in this YouTube algorithm as I'm learning. So um, I know it's going to take some time and that's okay. Uh, but I appreciate each one of you who takes the time to watch my video all the way through. When you hit and like and subscribe, it means a lot. So thank you so very much. So that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good night. Bye.